Nicole State Superintendent Tom Horn says that they are looking to retired law enforcement to actually rejoin the workforce and be SROs on our campuses. Now, Horn says that there are 138 schools right now without SROs simply because they cannot find someone to fill that spot. Earlier this year, Horn announced $100 million in grants that would allow for the number of SROs to grow from 190 schools to 301, but finding people has been hard. Today, today, the state's school safety task force met to talk about how to curb this problem. The idea for retired law enforcement officers to work at schools would require making changes to state laws, but the team believes that this would be a big help. We need to have some kind of licensing situation whereby if people retired, they're no longer certified, they can get recertified for the purpose of being school resource officers. Uh, right now they can't do that and that's irrational. That, that should be an easy yes from any reasonable legislator, I would think. Now the team also talked about using funds to add more school psychologists and school safety officers in addition to the current positions. School safety officers are essentially the same as SROs, but they are not assigned to a campus full time. Now they also talked about bringing in new technology to enhance safety at schools. They say they've actually been looking into AI technology and that can detect any sort of threat like a student bringing a gun to campus in a very timely manner. So they say that is something guys that they are looking into. Holly, when it comes to the ideas from this task force, uh, what does the timeline look like? When might any of those become reality? So Jared, for some of them, they would require changes to law, right? So those will be talked about come January when that legislative session starts. Horn's, Horn's team says that they are now looking for bill sponsors uh, specifically for that retired law enforcement to bring those SROs onto campus. Guys.